Hello, my name is Andy and welcome to my garage. Today we're going to work on the BMW Z4 2003 and we're going to change the brake pads and rotors and drums. So let's get started. Like that. Now we can remove the two sliding guide, one here and one up here. And remove the pad. Now we can go ahead and remove the two 16 millimeter bone for the retaining bracket. Bracket is out. By the way, the uh, sliding guide bowl was seven millimeter, the one that was retaining the bracket. There you go. The best way is to remove this five millimeter allen key spring here and here and then it twisted 90 degree and one two next we need to use a pick like this to remove the spring from the drum like that and the whole thing can be taken out okay this one has the little cable that comes out like that and it clips into the cable like that okay in order to put it back in that's what we're gonna do clip that back in like this that's how to put it back and there is a small tip and then there is a large tip here so we want the small one go into this side and the large one is to put the adjustment screw in there now we want to clean everything thoroughly with the brake clean product and brush Next, we want to clean the piston and the caliper. It's recommended to use the little toothbrush like that so that we don't damage the rubber area. Alright, the next step is to push the piston in as far as possible and we use the tool like that. It's recommended. Now we push the piston in as far as we can by just turning this all the way in and it's tight. And we remove it. There you go. Okay, next we want to make sure that we have all the new pieces in place and the surface of the new rotor got to be clean with the brake clean. Okay, just put it back in. It's better to put the springs on the top part. Remember the large slot 
size is for the adjuster the one below is for the cable clip so we want to put it in here and we're gonna put it in place by clipping it into the groove like that next step is to align the pin like this one and the five millimeter allen hex screw and put it in place all right it took me like a good 10 minutes to put these uh, springs in the last step is to put this spring into the retainer part below okay so we're gonna need the pick Move it up in here. There. That's it. The drum is in place. Now we have to adjust that. Okay, in order to adjust this, what we need is to make sure that we extend it enough by flipping this up you can see on the marks are starting to show mm, that's way too tight so now Okay. Right before putting the uh, rotor back in, we're gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit of anti seize here. Spring. And while I'm at it, put it right here. And I seize. What I'm using is a uh, Pegmatex anti seize lubricant. Alright, just put it in, align this retaining screw. Tighten it, 11 foot pound. Eleven foot pound is very, very loose. It's kind of barely snug. That's it. Next, we want to put the bracket in the caliper bracket in with the 16 millimeter bone but before that we're going to put some anti seize here in those area Okay. 
All right, for BMW Z4, we need to torque it to 47 foot pounds. Not a whole lot of space. To... Yeah. Next, we want to put the anti seize on the brake pads, especially at those corners. And then put the caliper in like that. Right, next we want to put the sliding guide in with a little bit of anti seize, not too much. Right, we're going to tighten this to 22 foot pound. Okay, we put back the two caps for the sliding guide and we're done. All right, while we are at this, we might want to clean the little uh, holes below the uh, drainer. So we have this 10 millimeter screw. One and three eight millimeter to take off one two and one below yep. okay the drain plug is like right at the bottom here and we want to clean that up and then plug it back in. Yeah. Yeah. The last step is to put the bracket. In. There you go. That's it. We're done. Next, we're going to put the tires in. Target to 88 foot pound for both sides. I recommend we change the rotors and brake pad for the rear and go and test drive it and then we go to the front and do the two front tires. That's it.